Hello and welcome for this un unboxing video of the Gigatron, or should I say the boxing video. In this video we'll show you how a Gigatron kit is being assembled. Starting off with this little anti-static bag and uh, you saw uh, 30 diodes being uh, counted off and put in there. Next are the caps and you immediately see that it takes a lot of work to just count all the components because we get them in bulk and they need to be counted and cut to be put in this, into this little bag. And the same goes as you can see here for the uh, resistors. You'll also notice that, it is, that I'm doing this quite uh, fast, but that's because we sped up the video five times, so it fits in a little over four minutes. So the resistors we could have done probably with one less resistor uh, type, but, uh, well, that's the way it is. And um, so these are all put into the to a little bag, and then together with the uh, other small components, and um, we've tried our best to make sure that the components are all quite dissimilar. So uh, as you can see here, we have resistor networks. There's two types of them. Of one type, there are three of them in there. And uh, the one type has five pins and the other type has six pins, which makes it, makes it more easy to distinguish. And the same goes for the two different types of caps in the, in the kit. So then there are some, uh, some plugs and some uh, little rubber feet that we also cut from a big sheet and that completes the little anti-static bag. And up to the foam, which holds the IC, so I cut off a little piece of on the side because in the old days it would fit perfectly, but since we add the plug in plug phase adapter, there's a little less space in the box uh, in the packaging. So I uh, took off a little bit and the foam is used to put the ICs on. Uh, as you can see, all the ICs are also uh, sent to us in bulk, so we need to count them and uh, put them on there. And it's actually quite nice if you get this on the foam, it makes it quite easy to, um, to see which IC goes where on the PCB, because the layout is exactly the same. So I need to make sure that the orientation of the ICs is correct on the, on the, on the foam. And um, what also is nice is that this gives us a bit of quality control because it's rather easy to see if all the components, all the ICs are actually present on this uh, bit of foam. All the ICs are provided without sockets. You may include a socket if you like, but uh, the exception is the RAM and the EEPROM because they are so big that it makes it easier to, for us to just put them into the socket and you to solder the socket into the PCB. The EEPROM needs to be programmed, which is being done here. Uh, the EEPROM is uh, almost the only component that comes from, from China and this programming makes sure that we have again quality control so we know the EEPROM is working. A little sticker goes on and that completes the ICs. Then the plug in the plug face in its own little bag, a uh, PCB, a few plugs and an AT tiny microprocessor that also needs to be programmed and is put in a separate socket. I put on a sticker onto the little uh, bag of which I cut off the URL because the uh, instructions are no longer at the URL or well they still are, but they're also included in the Gigatron manual, so they're not needed. And then it's a matter of putting everything in the box, everything fits in the box, the PCB, the ICs, the plug the other components, uh, USB cable, and we put in a bit of uh, protective foam and uh, that's it. So all that's left is to wrap it up and add a manual. Uh, in which we put a, a few stickers as well and the game controller and these are the items that go into the uh, box uh, it's actually quite a nice box which is really uh, well uh, protecting the uh, the Gigatron box and uh, thanks for watching uh, our unbox video so the sticker goes on and we're done thanks for watching and bye bye